And a Rockford City Council vote saves what many people claimed was a dead deal. One week ago, Alderman narrowly approved an amendment adding a project labor agreement to the Barbara Coleman project. Taylor Castro was there in a practically standing room only city council chamber when a couple of votes came down. Taylor, this was a little different than the last time around. Yes, Eric, it was a more emotional conversation at this week's meeting. After more discussion, they held the revote. I will say we are far more connected and closer on this issue than I really believe the de debate has led us to. So I think we're stronger when we as a community are together. And I will say, clerk, my vote on this is no for the PLA mandate. Monday night, it came down to Mayor Tom McNamara to break a tied vote on whether to require a labor agreement for the Barber Coleman redevelopment project. With a full council present, there was a different outcome. And I ran for this seat to speak on behalf of the residents, specifically in Ward 7, and the little guy, but that is who I will be voting for tonight and no one else. Alderwoman Janessa Wilkins was absent from last week's meeting, so Alderman Mark Bonney filed a motion to reconsider, which was approved tonight. I was willing to um, try to create that bridge that would allow um, Alderman Wilkins and the voters that she represents in the 7th Ward for their voice their voices to be heard on this issue um, in the you know again not being about which side won or which side lost last week's vote but about good government and democracy the motion to reconsider passed with a 13 to 1 vote alderman chad toomberg arrived late to the meeting as he rushed back from indianapolis to ensure all 14 representatives were present after more discussion, the PLA was ultimately rejected. If we want to be a really strong community, we have to engage and appreciate out-of-town developers. We want people to invest in our buildings and in our people. The redevelopment project with Jay Jeffers will move forward. We'll continue to follow this story as the next steps are taken. Eric?